What's up, Team Kinks? It is Nappy Foo all up on your screen, and today is a That Nap Life video coming at y'all with a DIY. This is kind of like my updated avocado nourishing moisturizing hair mask. If you want to know what's new about it, keep watching. Nappy Foo checking in. Lego. <music> Welcome back. Hey, welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back, Team Kinks. Let's get right into this DIY hair mask, the Avocado Creamy Smash, because it smashed my 4C hair into greatness. Okay, I'm just saying. Full fat Greek yogurt. This is the star of the show, I feel, along with the avocado, very ripe avocado. I'm going to be using shea nut oil, tea tree oil, because I want a little kick to it, a little stimulation. A little stimulation. I'm trying to say stimulation. Y'all know what I'm trying to say. Aloe vera gel, the actual leaf, and I'll be using a conditioner base. Just basically a hair mask, uh, deep conditioner I have laying around the house. Just to kind of give this mix an extra thickness to it. So I'm going to blend all this up. Yeah. So Greek yogurt, for the purpose of its strengthening properties, the strengthening mainly happening on the outside of my hair, but it's still strengthening, so I love it. Avocado for the moisturizing properties of it and the penetrating properties of it as well. And, of course, the aloe vera gel. I ain't even got to say much about this sucker. Y'all already know the deal about this, okay? It is hamezin. ha me me zin moisturization to the max and the shea nut oil and the other oils I have, I'm going to add it after I've already mixed this up. Now my liquid is going to be aloe vera juice. Might as well amp it up to the next level and use aloe vera juice to inner leaf. Okay, here it is all smooth. And that is the smoothness I was looking for. This right here is my secret y'all. Well, it's not a secret no more because y'all know. I have discovered the best way for me to drain or to strain these type of mixes that I do. Even when I make my aloe vera gel, I use this. It is a milk bag. And this thing is a lifesaver. It is a game changer. When I use this to strain out whatever mixes I have, I don't even have to go a second time because it definitely catches every little um, skin or any kind of particle that would have been on my hair. It catches it all. I love it. It's a little messy, okay? But it catches everything. Okay, I'm just saying. See all that all that brown stuff you see at the bottom? That would have been on my hair if I didn't strain it right. So thank God for milk bags and thank God for repurposing things. You know what I'm saying? There's a power behind that. Just because they tell you, oh no, it's only used for X, Y, and Z, please. Something that's only used for, for one men team can be used for many teens. Just have to be creative, right? All right, shea nut oil. All these ingredients I'm going to put in the description box exactly what it does for my hair and what type of goodness it brings to our hair. So make sure you check the description box for more details. All right, so this thing is creamy. It is ready. I'm going to add in a conditioner base just to thicken it up more and to give it more spreadability. Um, this is another way of saving some of your ingredients into. Just add another pre-made conditioner just to amp it up to the next level. I'm just saying. It's a DIY, DIY, okay? <laughs> it's time to apply. So my hair is already pre-washed. I use Razul clay this day, so I did a clay wash, and I am getting ready to bless her with this when it comes to applying deep conditioners y'all i have one rule and one rule only take your time take your precious time i have a second rule then so it's not one rule only it's two rules and two rules only <laughs> start from the bottom respect your elders you know how you walk into a house you're not gonna say hello to your homeboy first you're gonna say hello to the dad first right respect your elders so i start at the bottom I work my way up in sections and I use my thumb to rake it through. If you are a tool user, like you, you like to use a comb, dim and brush, whatever be, your, whatever be your choice, take your time with that too. Work from the elders all the way up to the children, okay? When it comes to applying it on the kids part, I'm sorry, on the roots part, I call them kids because they knew, right? They knew to the crew. Um, don't try to purposely apply it to your scalp, like the skin part. You don't need it there. That's not... That's not what the skin needs. The skin just needs to be cleaned, okay? The hair has to be moisturized. So try your hardest not to purposely apply it to the scalp. If it gets there, it gets there. It is what it is. But it's the difference between it accidentally got there as opposed to I am purposely placing it on there. You might end up placing more. You feel me? So try your hardest just to focus on the hair strands and the hair strands only and get everything, y'all. I really believe in saturating my 4C hair with whatever moisturizing treatment I am using. I don't want any section to be left without being touched, being blessed by whatever hair mask, deep conditioner, oil, 
leave-in conditioner, whatever it is, I make sure I don't skip anything. You feel me? So do you realize you have been hanging out with me for like five minutes so far? Have you hit that subscription button yet? <laughs> it is still red. My friend, if you don't change the color to gray, please join the team. Team Kings, hit the bell right next to it so you notify the next time I'm all up on your screen. Thanks in advance. Yes, as you can see, this is me in real time. I take my time, y'all. I work that sucker through. I, I take my fingers. As you can see, I work it all the way down, making sure I get everything. I use my thumb to also take it, rake it through, which, yes, it also is allowing me to do some detangling with it, too, which is great, right? So, yeah, just take your time, y'all. That's it. What you rushing for? Where you going? Where you going? You got to schedule your, your wash days, right? So make sure you schedule enough time to where you're not rushing through. You feel me? Now, there have been times in my life, okay, where I definitely neglected contour so much so that um, a couple of deep conditionings were needed to get her back to what she needed, to get her back to what she knows, you know? And um, it happens. If you happen to fall off, like you go a month, you didn't deep condition, your hair is going to tell you. I hope you know that. It's going to tell you. It's going to be breaking. It's not going to be maintaining moisture. Like you can use, you can use your favorite shea butter, your favorite mango butter, your favorite moisturizing cream and you will notice your hair will feel drier quicker than normal it's probably because you haven't done a deep conditioning in a while and i know and even though it still shocks me i know there are some naturals that still have not they don't deep condition on a regular basis they they'd be like i just don't really deep condition that much but in this with the same breath with the same mouth they are complaining about dry hair i'm thinking to myself girl i'm saying it's like somebody saying they're thirsty, but they don't drink water that much. Like, girl, if you don't go get that deep conditioner, stop playing. <laughs> but yeah, don't sleep on deep conditioners. If you still, if you're a natural who don't really deep condition, um, and you're having issues with moisturization, you might want to embrace deep conditioning. And most importantly, remember, if you do embrace it, remember everyone, y'all, just take your time with this stuff because it's really good for your hair. Don't rush her. Don't rush her through this process. Schedule it. <laughs> okay. Same thing with cleansing. Take your time with cleansing. There are many ways to cleanse your hair with moisturizing, um, with deep conditioning. Of course, there's many, there's there's maybe two main ways to get your hair moisturized on wash day as far as um, treatments go. There's hair mask and there's deep conditioners. If you want to know the difference between these, please check out my video in the description box or click the I in the in the top right hand corner because I explain it all. <laughs> All right, so at this point, I'm going to cover her up with a conditioning cap, do a little stretch because that was a workout, okay? And I'm going to start the heat process. So when it comes to deep conditioning, you also want to take it to the next level by using some, some type of heating source. You can cover it up with a t-shirt or a turby, use your body heat, or sit underneath a hooded dryer or a heating cap. On this day, I use a heating cap. All right, so this is the rest of my creamy smash that's left over. I am going to refrigerate it. I think I have about one cup left over. That is definitely something I can utilize on my next wash day, which will be in a few days anyway. I just like how creamy it turned out and I am happy. All right, so now we have come to today's Snapchat question. I wanna know from you, are you a DIY natural? And I want you to list below one of your favorite DIY hair masks or deep conditioners, as in list the ingredients. If you don't mind, give us the recipe, okay? We would love to know, because I don't know about y'all, but I love DIYing. I told myself I need to start recording more of these different recipes that I do, and by the grace of God, hopefully I do. So yes, give us your recipe, y'all. What is your what is one of your favorite DIY hair masks, deep conditioners? Hey, if you like, uh, I really don't have one, but I do have a favorite tr hair oil, or I have a favorite uh, moisturizer, let us know that too, girl. Share that recipe, okay? We'll appreciate it. Remember, y'all, your response would definitely help the next natural out. Thanks in advance. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, please go ahead and help your girl out by hitting that subscribe button. And make sure you hit the bell right next to it so you can be notified the next time that I am all up on your screen. Also, if you're bored during the week, come on and hang out with me on Instagram, Snapchat, Facebook, all of that, all, all, all of that. And I will catch you on the next one. By the grace of God, I will be back on your screen once again. Until then, remember, I said, remember my sister, my brother, my cousin, my friend. In order to have healthy hair, you got to do healthy things consistently. 
Have your food checking out. Deuces. If I told you you were beautiful, if I told you you were beautiful, if I told you you were beautiful, beautiful, if I told you you were beautiful, beautiful, if I told you you were beautiful.